hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to your friendly neighborhood. Of course, I'm DJ Floof, and we're back with Neighbor SP Season 3, The Fiesta! Fiesta Resistance. But no, Fiesta Resistance. No. Uh, Revolution! Yeah! <laughs> and today, we're going to be working on the stage. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do for this stage. What I do know is that I want to have, like, a, a, a downstairs area so that you're able to walk up and have, like, something that bounces you up onto stage. I, I kind of want to have, like, some, some, some redstone working down here so that you can press a button and it will just launch you up onto the stage. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. It's all that is much appreciated. Oh, it's so appreciated. No, really, it really is, guys. Thank, thank you. And let's get into it. As I was saying, I want to make a stage. Now, the stage is going to be uh, on here. It's going to not reach the, like this level. It's not going to reach this level. So you can just like look down onto the stage. Like people can come up to here because there'll be a fence all the way around. Uh, and just like watch them perform. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. But it is going to be like kind of a circular one. I don't know how many blocks I want it away from the edge. Uh, down below I want like boxes and scaffolding and stuff. Kind of like it's uh, it's 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 uh, and wires if I can or something just to make it look like this is the underground of the of the stage. Then there'll be an under part under here. We can walk all the way to here, walk up to the center, and then press a button and it will bounce you upwards. Now first I'm gonna have to make the actual stage before I start making the little bits and pieces. So I'm gonna have to get some uh, deep slate tiling because that's what I want to make it out of though I do have some ideas on what else to make it out of because it, it, it can't just be that you know it just it, it can't just be that you could use some blackstone maybe but uh yeah it's gonna gotta be made out of a few different things and then we've got to figure out how tall we want it and uh yeah first up I'm gonna go around and just put in some uh fencing because the fencing is needed so that people don't fall inside we don't want people cheering so hard that they fall inside to, of this. Plus, we want all our, our performances for Couchella to, you know, be safe. We don't, we don't want to be uh, hassled by the safety pr pr officers, patrol people, uh, you know? I, I don't want to have to deal with all the fines. Goddamn fines, you know? Awful. All right, so let's go get ourselves some... Ugh, rotten flesh. Let's go get ourselves some fencing. <sighs> oh, I think I can make some. There we go. Let's go. We might do a little bit of a time lapse so you can see it be put in. It'll be really quick, I promise. Alright, so we got the fence all the way around. Now it's time to figure out how far we actually want it. So I feel like it shouldn't be too close. I feel like if I look down, that should be able to show me what exactly, uh, how far away it should be. Let's have a, let's have a, let's have a glance. So I want it far enough that we can see, like, the edge of the stage and not that. So from the fence, we can actually see to here. Can we see one more? Actually, let's, uh, let's break this and go down. Let me see if we can see the dirt there. So from the fence, you shouldn't be able to see the edge of the stage. However, okay, so yeah, we can only go three out. If we go three out, that means we can't see the edge of the stage. Well, we'll see the edge of the stage. We won't see the hole beneath with all the workings. You will be able to see it if you look at different angles, but from where you're standing looking into the stage, you won't. So I'm going to, this is where the stage is going to start. So we have to do it three out in every direction. Oh, wrong, wrong direction. There, there, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna dirty up. We're gonna dirt up, because I, I don't know where I put my scaffolding. So we're gonna dirt up, and we're gonna figure out and make sure that it's always three away. Always three away. So this part is going to be the edge, the edge of the stage, and then we're gonna use a slab for the actual stage itself. I do wanna do other things with it, like do some, like, uh, I wanna do some, maybe some dark. Uh, maybe some black stone across there. I, I want to have a kind of pattern, but I want the outlining to be the exact same. So all the way around has to be exact same. Okay, so this is there. Honestly, I should probably just do this. So one, two, three goes to there. One, two, three goes to there. One, two, three goes to there. There. 
There. There. Oh, wait. No, no, it has to go inwards. It has to go inwards. So three from there. Three from there. Oh, no. That's only two. Oh, I see. I see. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. In, in, inward. There we go. Okay. I think it's that. I think it's that. It should be that. <laughs> it should be. Doesn't mean it is. I really should make a staircase out of dirt on one side. <laughs> there we go. Got a staircase going. So, again, we're going to do a little time lapse of us just placing this all in. Uh, I like the little mini time lapses. Like, you know, zoom through and get it done. So, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. And I, I, I really am hoping to get a cool design for the actual stage that isn't too distracting. So, we're going to have to look at all the black uh, blocks that we have. Or the darker blocks, at least. I just realized something. Uh, I, I, should, should the stage be this low down? That's what I'm thinking. Should the stage be this low down? Uh, I was about to start the, the, the recording, the, the time lapse, and I realized, do I really want the stage this small, like this, uh, like this far down? It's like three blocks down? Four? Four blocks down? I mean, you're looking down into it. Do I really want that? Maybe it should be one higher, but I'm pretty sure if it's one higher, then you will be able to see, huh. Then we'll be able to push it back one more, won't we? Let's, let's test that. So, oh no, we have to push it back less i believe you can see the edge if you go uh, i think you can see the edge if i go up so we'll have to do like two yeah okay we'll keep it down there i like three four <laughs> three four <laughs> we'll just keep it at what it is it's fine it's fine all right let's actually go into the time lapse now i had a little bit of a, a, a brain like moment of <gasps> dumb <laughs> i'm dumb i hate those brain moments i hate having to use my brain it's it's just it's painful Okay, I'm thinking of doing uh, two sets of the tile, the deep slate tile, then going into some stone, which no, is a bit risky, stone break, and then some normal stone, and then going into some diorite or some calcite, and that will be the center area. It'll be local white and stuff. Uh, I thought about it, and I, I kind of like the idea. We'll see. I might fill the, the rest of it in with dark oak. It's kind of hard to choose materials for this because I want it to, to sh like, you know, be flashy, especially against all of this. But uh, it's going to be hard. I I'm still considering detailing this walls, uh, these walls as well. Mm. Doing something underneath it, maybe. Putting some slabs there so that I could uh, decorate a bit more or maybe even slabs further down. We'll see. We'll see. But it, it definitely needs some more detailing because uh, this is a big space. And the problem with big spaces is they're hard to make look good with details. But I think it's time we're going to start the stage. And again, we're going to make a beautiful little time lapse. Something to show off me build off of this entire stage. Uh, and then we're going to have to break a hole in the middle. When we figure out what the middle is, we'll break a hole in it. And uh, then we can start some redstone. 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 I'm terrible at redstone. This is going to be awful. <laughs> we're going to have to look up some YouTube videos or something. I'll tell you which YouTube video I use as well if I do. If we can figure it out ourselves, I won't, but uh, I, I have a feeling that's not, not going to happen. But uh, maybe. Right, onwards and upwards. Time to make a beautiful stage.
So, we've got our stage set. We're gonna have to get some lighting up here. I think of putting in between there and like putting in between the spaces because these are pillars that are going down and holding it up. Not really. But you know, it's all about the immersion. We like some immersion. Can't just have floating platforms all the time. Now, the center bit, I want to, you know, have it like a tower, like up to here. I want to put some curtains on the sides. Just like right there and right there, the same around here. So we're gonna have to get some black or some red um, wool just to make the curtainy things. And the center bit is going to be like a, a, a kind of like a tower thing. I'm gonna put some. Uh, I want to try to make a deck of some kind. You know, you know the back of a stage. How it's like the back of a stage is just a giant wall and then has like uh, pillars coming down from it. Uh, to, uh, or scaffolding type thing coming down for it and, and lighting and all that kind of stuff. I want it to look professional, you know? Gotta, gotta get it professional. People have to take this seriously. Take my take myself seriously, you know? It, it, that's how it works here. We gotta take ourselves seriously. Ah, goddamn. Oh, it looks like we have a, 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 a viewer. A, a, he didn't buy a ticket, so um, I'm gonna deal with him. Um, sir, you didn't buy a ticket. I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to go. I mean, the sun was going to take him out anyway. It's fine. But yeah, so when you look over here, as you can see, you can see the edges like that. But when you look here, unless you look very close down. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. See, you can't see the edge. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. You can jump up and see the edge. But yeah, and this is going to be the stage. We're going to have like the, the, the goes up to there and some curtains around there, curtains around there, curtains around there, and curtains around there that are going to go up to uh, as high as we can here. I think, it, I think it would look really cool. I just want it to be like a spectacular place to, to have a show or something, you know? Have a talent show. So rude. Uh, and then have a big space to set up as well. So uh, it should be nice. And you can choose whatever angle you want. So you can, you can sing from all different angles, all different parts of the stage. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I do have to go uh, collect a whole bunch of wool now, some black wool. I think I have white, so I'm going to have to go get some ink stacks. I'm going to chappy. Chappy, chappy, some, some squids. Not the big fan of going to find squids. <sighs> it's gonna be rough. I finished the stage. Well, no, I didn't finish the stage. I did more of the stage. <laughs> I finished the curtains. So it's like all curtains there. And then there's a center bit. So you can like come out from the curtains and perform. So I'll be like, hello, everyone. Hello, hello, welcome. Hi, it's so good to see you all. It's so good to smell you all. Wow, you smell terrible. Oh my God, it's been such a long time since I've seen all your bright, shiny faces. 
I know, I know. It's been so long. Or you could just go into one spot, to be honest. It really just depends what you want to do. As a performer, you can you can choose your spot around this area. I actually really like it. I think it's cute. It definitely needs uh, some colorful splatters. I still need to put all the like the colorful splatters against like there and have it like down there as well. I need the paint splatters all over the place to match the paint splatters up there. Uh, and then we also need to make the redstone contraption down here. So I imagine first things first, we should make the hole for the for the uh, thing. So I'm sure spiders will attack me the moment I go down there. Bad. Stay down. Uh, I think we'll go up to there. Yeah. So this is the space, so we need something that will, like, basically shove you up there. Hmm. We're gonna need some slime balls. Or, uh, or at least slime blocks to go along to here. We need pistons underneath. Probably sticky pistons. We need some sticky pistons underneath, and we're gonna need some redstone. Oh god. How did you spawn here? It's so weird. Uh, and some redstone that will go underneath that, so that when you press one of these activators. So there's gonna be two activators here and two activators on this side. So once you press the activators, it will just shoot you upwards. I'm not the best at redstone, so this might take some time. It's definitely gonna take some time, but but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my hardest. I'm gonna put my big inventor pants on and give it a go. Okay, so we've got the blocks. Now we need some redstone. Uh, I need to figure out what redstone construction would um, what would be activated? Huh. What would work as activators? That's what I need. Uh, if I put dispenser in there, I don't think it actually... If I put dispenser in here. Yeah. Is there like an activator? No. Oh, there's a magi uh, scythe. That's really cool. Uh, oh, is that Bramblethorn? Yeah, it's Bramblethorn. Uh, what's the other stuff? What's all the redstone stuff? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, down here. Dispenser dropper observer maybe how do you make an observer nether quartz uh maybe i don't have any quartz maybe that's that's why perhaps i guess i haven't really been in the nether yet have i no no i haven't um i think i, I do have some quartz somewhere though wait where did i put it hey i need some buttons is that enough? no we'll make four buttons uh, one two three four and let's go back up all right, I think we have all the items we're going to need. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I, th I think so. I think so. Um, so, I think we should probably put the blocks first, shouldn't we? Because uh, they'll be go there, 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 there. Um, there, 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 there. There. And, oh, no. Okay, how, how, do, we, how do we do this? Like, I might have to dig down. That? No, wrong way. How are you supposed to do this? Hmm. Maybe I should do it underneath first. Like that. And then put them on top. Because these are easy to break. So I can just break them underneath them. And then... That. Okay. Oh. You. Go away. <laughs> Go away. We'll break them once we're done. There. There. And... Oh. There. Um... Uh, I'm trying to do this without, like, any sort of... YouTube tutorial. I know I said I'd do it with the YouTube tutorial, but I'm, do, I'm trying to I'm trying to do it on my own. I'm gonna I have to learn redstone somehow, and this is the very basics of redstone, like making something open and shutter. Uh, I believe we'll use this actually. Put redstone all along here. Oh, I can't because of that. Damn it. Wait, we can remove that because the block's there. It's not needed. So remove all of this, and then put the redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, then we have it up to here. Where I believe the dispensers will be, correct? Do I have that dispensers facing a certain way? Um, <laughs> me learning. No, it fell down. God damn it. Like this? No, uh, other way. Other way. So like this. There we go. Perfect. So that means that one's that way. Oh, it's blinking. Is it supposed to be blinking? I don't know if it's supposed to be blinking. Okay. I think I've already done something wrong with the observers, but we'll figure out in a second. Uh, observer facing... Oh, wrong way. How do I do that every time? I, I is not the brightest bulb in bunch when it comes to the redstoning. That one down. 
Okay, so they're both facing this way. This goes here. This goes here. Break upwards. Ho <laughs> ho. Gonna leave that hole just in case. Putting the buttons on. No. That's not that's not gonna work. Okay. Um Hmm, so you can't do it with the the act these guys. Do we need a block that it can go through? Oh. So that doesn't make it go up? Huh. I don't get it. What if I do it here? Is it supposed to like Huh I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Do I need more activators? Wait. I think I know. I'm gonna test with one. But uh so Bam, bam. Oh no, wrong way, wrong way. Every time. Every goddamn time. Put that there. Put this here. And then I put the lever down. No. Oh. Maybe these don't work. Let's try with one. And then slowly go from there, shall we? Okay, so the activator doesn't activate that. Unless maybe it has to go this way. At this point, I'm just like ripping apart this, uh, this, this just to figure it out. Oh my god. I'm gonna figure it out, I promise. I just have to... Work on this, I guess. Hmm. I hope I figure this out. It's like that. Or maybe this is the wrong way. Maybe this has been the wrong way this entire time. It has been! Oh no. Why isn't it? Ah, that's actually good. Okay. So, I guess, uh, huh. Each of these have to have their own observery things. I think that's the deal. So each of these are gonna have to have their own observers. They all link back. Right! Well, we're gonna have to rip up this floor and put it back in once we're done, but like, damn, it's gonna be rough. <sighs> An inventor's job is very hard. But I'm gonna figure it out, I promise. Okay, I've created something. I don't know if it's... it's pretty janky, it's pretty bad, but uh, I, I made it. So you know what? I'm proud of myself, even if it's terrible. As you can see, we have this beautiful, like, um, um, uh, thing. And when you press this, it'll, it'll go down. And then this, oh, oh, that's right, I have to stand here. That goes down, then that, Whee! It works, kind of, it's janky. <laughs> it's really janky, you have to stand on like the edges and you have to like, like this one, I think, yeah, it's fine. And then bounce, that's not too bad, that one. Okay, that's not too bad. This one's a little annoying, but that that's fine. So you have to push it down first, you push it down first, then bounce yourself up. And then be like, hey, everybody, wee! <laughs> it's gonna take some getting used to for some people to figure out how to use this, as, uh, including myself. But I'm just gonna, I have to swap this to that way. Okay, and it looks it looks pretty okay when you look at it like this. I tried replacing all of these with, um, with slime blocks and then it stopped working. So there was a lot of things that made it stop working. Like I couldn't do every single block as a um as as a as a like a, 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 a what's it called sticky piston I couldn't do that because then it wouldn't work. I also was unable to do um the 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 like st what are they called st glue. I also wasn't able to make slime blocks every single block because it didn't work. It was just a very big situation to everything just stop working, and I didn't like it. <sighs> And, and I faced the, 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 these guys the wrong way, and I had to do this all the way around. It, it, it was a lot. It, 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 it was a lot. It really was. But we've got it completed, and we got it finished. And I'm really, really happy with it. And now, it's the only way to get up there. Seriously, it's now the only way to get up there. So if you, if you, if you want to get the top, you have to. Want to be on top? Do, 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 do. I'll put these underneath. Honestly, I should get some glowstone and put it on the floor and, just, and then just put trapdoors over the top of it or something for light. Alright, let's bounce up. Okay, ready? One, two. And then... Pew. Okay. <sighs> I still haven't gotten my shipment of C blocks yet because I'm going to put some C blocks there. There, 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 there. Uh, I'm going to have to get Flash to get me some or I'm going to have to go get some myself. Uh, it's, uh, either way, it's going to be hard. But now... It's time to put in some paint splatters. So I, 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 I'm, I'm nervous about this part because paint splatters are hard. They really are. And I'm really hoping it's going to look good because, um, well, the, 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 the stuff up there was okay. But this, this, this part, it's going to be a lot more. It's going to be a lot more paint splatters. So without further ado, let's do a, a quick little uh, transition into the beauty of paint splatters.
paint splatters everywhere. Looks like a paintball fight happened. Damn, look at all the paint. There's some red over here, some pink over there, some magenta. Got a little bit of magenta into the to the mix. Some blue across there, some blue over here, some purple, some red, and some more pink. And even some drippings down there. Ah, I think it looks really cool. Never done anything like this before. Never tried to. Never tried to really add some, like, obnoxious color to something. But I kind of really like it, and I think it looks really awesome. It does add to the vibe. I was tempted to do, like, a, a, a patch of, like, colorful wool up there to kind of, like, say it got splattered. Or even just replace it with some color. But I, I feel like the curtains, you know, the curtains don't need that. The curtains don't need to be splattered. That That's that's fine. That's fine. All the goddamn curtains. There we are. We've got our stage ready to go. Uh, I'll have to put in some orders from some C blocks so that we can uh, put some lights in here. But for now, I, I feel like I feel like this is good. I was going to do detailing on the wall, but I feel like this paint, slight paint splatter actually is detail enough. I do want to put a path all the way around uh, here. Ow. Uh, a path all the way around there to kind of lead into the, the tents. I will have to push this back a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna look really cool once it's done. I, I have a feeling it's gonna be really cool. Uh, the tent, the tent vibe, by the way, is gonna be a little bit more random. Like, I, I'm thinking of having, like, random stalls around here, and then just, like, random chairs and tables as if, as if so, the people just set up here, and they're, they're not even thinking, they're just drinking, and, and, and smoking, and stuff like that. They, they, they're not even thinking about what they're doing here. They, they're not, they don't even care, you know? They, they have, they have carefree lives, carefree behaviors, so everything's gonna be very random and less, uh, uniform. Like, the stage obviously was set up by professionals. The stage set up by professionals, the main tent was set up by professionals, but the rest of the stuff is just set up by the fans and, uh, people that are watching. So we have to, we have to keep that in mind. We really do. <sighs> but I'm really happy with that progress today. Ah, fix it okay. Anyway, guys, we have come to the end of the episode. That's right, we came to the end of the episode. I set up some beautiful staging, and I also got a little bit of redstone in there, some little stuff like that. I'm thinking of adding some pyrotechnics, you know, some stuff to do with, uh, uh may maybe some fireworks, you know? Uh, maybe something where you can, you can walk up and just, uh, you know, press a lever and the fireworks will go off or something like that. Not entirely sure how I wanted to make it work, but, uh, I would, I would like some form of firework, uh, contraption maybe uh, we'll think about it we'll think about it i don't think they really have fireworks in coachella no but this is cowchella yeah yeah yeah, yeah. moo 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 anyway guys i want to say thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here thank you so much for being part of your friendly neighborhood community of course i'm dj floof wicka 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 yeah and this has been neighborhood smp season three fiesta until next time don't forget to like subscribe share with all your friends don't forget to spaghetti is all that's really appreciated, and you should come join the party. You know, you you, you can just 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 join the party. But until next time, bye.